Don't you dare go soft on me. Make a word. Get out of here. Look at that. I don't have enough cannons, but I will later. Can you leave me alone? They won't leave me alone. I wonder how long it is going to take. Come on, let me leave already. Are you kidding me? These guys won't let me leave. There we go. Are you Christopher Raven? No. Who's asking? Stay your hand, sir. I have a summons for you. We are here as an escort, nothing more. And who are being escorted to? And who am I being escorted to? Our captain, Sir Philip Reginald the Third. So I'm on the vest. So, am I under arrest? No. However, we've been told to bring you before our captain, regardless of your wishes on the matter. If I decide to run, then instead, say for armed guards, find us get out of the And what if I decide to run you through instead? I can tell you that if our captain says you will not be detained, you can believe his word. He is an honorable man. Says his four armed guards. Fine. 
Let's get this over with. So, Christopher Raven. I've been hearing a lot about you. I'm surprised you haven't heard how much I hate having my time wasted. Surely you can spare a moment for the local magistrate. Especially when I have the power to throw you in the stocks if I so choose. Surely. So if I'm not under arrest, what am I doing here? I am trying to gauge if you are suitable for service to the Crown. Service? I already have things to do. I don't need a job with your pathetic little outfit here. The stocks are still an option, you know. I won't have a pirate disrespect the Crown in my own office, you understand? I'll gladly leave, if it pleases His Majesty. You are incorrigible. Yes, I think you'll work out nicely. Here is my proposition, Raven. I've been having some problems with pirates attacking my citizens and interfering with trade in my waters. This must stop. You would be working for me in an extremely unofficial capacity, earning pay for each pirate vessel you destroy. You have a small army stationed here. Why can't you have your lackeys clean up your waters? Why risk my men when I can risk yours instead? Besides, from what I've heard, you're out committing random acts of piracy anyway. I'm simply giving you a target. This way, I can use my soldiers for more important tasks. And if you're killed, well, it's no loss to me. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, fine. You're an... Yeah. But my crew ain't always use some gold. We'll do it. You're an asshole. But my yeah. crew and I can always use the gold. We'll do it. Good. Now. Of course, you cannot let it be known you are working for me or the British government in any way. I'll give you contracts, you fulfill them. Then, return to me when they are done. Simple. Okay. Fine. Here's your first contract. Return when the vessel has been destroyed. Keep that. How do I get out of here? Oh, well, damn. Ha! Okay, where's the sh merchant? Hat salon. Big ahead. Why is it? Let's just go back to my ship. Let me get some rations. Alright. Nice, 200. That will buy me some rations. Enough to get my butt back to the main story. A ship? The ladies I like best don't. Huh? My kind of man. Quality goods for cheap. Come on over and see for yourself. Guys up there. Ow. Oh great, I'm stuck now. Oh righty. How am I supposed to get up now? All I want to do is buy some rations. Who built the stairs? That's one question. How did you build a stairs underwater? Guess you need cheap 
prices, quality goods, right here. Great, I can't repair my ship. Uh, let's see, rations, yeah. I need to, all I need to do is some cargo trading and I'll be fine. Hey, what's my ship? St. Rose. Oh. Hey, how do I get to that dog? I am highly confused right now. Ow. Captain! Captain! Stop yelling. What's the matter? I've bought supplies for the voyage as you've ordered, Captain. We can set sail any time, but you'll need to pay the shopkeeper for provisions. You bought the supplies? Where's Bodell? He's the quartermaster. He was too drunk to go, Captain. I had to go and do it. Here's the paper from the merchant. Obviously, I need to read the bill of the stage, okay? How much is this gonna cost me? I don't have much money. Somebody 500. Okay, 100 cannibals, 225 grape shot, 50 barrels of rations, 50 barrels of rum, 7 crates of tobacco. Roger. Son of a bitch. This is twice the price it should be, you bloody dimwit. I don't know. The thing is, Captain, I... I can't read. You can't read or write? You signed the promise to pay note just fine. Cause I'm proud of my Irish name, Berta O'Sullivan. So I've learned how to write it. You idiot. Didn't you ask about the prices? I... Uh... Hmm. Ugh. Fine, let's get this. Let it go this time. You screwed up. You know how much you're you going to cost me? Well, this bill of stages is signed in the ship, but I think I'm going to make you pay for it anyway. <sighs> it's not really his fault. Fine. Fine. I'll let it go this time. Where's that drunken slob Bodell? I'm going to hang him from the masthead. Yep, he's probably still drinking over at the Block Bitch Tavern, Captain. <laughs> that miserable excuse for a goddamn sailor. Out of my way. How are you, sir? How do you do? Forgive me. No, it's 120. Where's the Tavern. So you got some sugar, you want that? There you go. Now I have enough money.
But now I'm returning with gold and great store. It's time to retire and grab me a whore. What's this? Oh man, I'm getting really hungry. My belly's growling. I might get something to eat. So I might end the stream soon. Just letting you guys know that. This is gonna be annoying trying to cut this down. Supposed to get up there. Whew. Oh, you look like a rich person. Nice. Well, she doesn't look very rich, but I say about twenty. Necklace. I used to have a lot of money. Good afternoon, sir. In judging by your rather rough appearance, you must be a seaman of some sort. I am. My name's Captain Christopher Raven. Well met, sir. My name is Bartholomew Sawford, Master of Surgery and Medicine. Unfortunately, <laughs> by a combination of events completely beyond my control, I am currently unemployed. And why should I be concerned about that, old man? I posit that you could use a talented man who can actually help your men when injury strikes, instead of just digging around in their wounds until they become rancid with infection. If this is true, I would happily offer my humble services. I might be looking. What's your price? Actually, I do not require pay. Only some victuals and a place to sleep. So what's the catch? There's an ex-client who's quite dissatisfied with my services. With him out there, I am too afraid to walk the streets, let alone practice my trade. If you take care of this vicious malcontent, I will join your crew without hesitation. What do you say? Yeah. All right. All right. Where can I find that malcontent? Marvelous. You can find him near the Black Beach Tavern. He should be quite distinguishable due to his pegged leg. I eagerly await your return. I'll be going then. Okay, down there. Up, oh, time to go down. Oh, he looks like he's money. There you go. Yeah, you got a little bit of money. He'll have a, a ring. Oh no, it's really nice. I'm just stealing from people now.
Hello. Are you Sofford's client? Client? More like an experiment. That lunatic surgeon cut off my fucking leg. It looks like a clean cut to me. Oh, it's clean, all right. Problem is, it was my finger that needed to be cut. Look, I need you to back off. He's under my protection now. He cut off my leg. I'm not backing off of anything until he's shot a fucking leg. You keep pushing this, you're gonna lose more than a leg. Don't test me. Who the fuck are you to tell me that? Yes. That's the best you got. Coward. Wow, you're really bad. It'll be worth it. So we're gonna get a crazy doctor on our team. Nice. Captain. Who are you? I, um, do you want some rum? You've got two seconds to tell me why you're in here and not out doing your job. Huh? What, what do you mean, sir? Supplies. The supplies, damn it. Why is a goddamn halfwit out there getting overcharged for my supplies when you should be doing it yourself? Oh, well. See, Captain, I met a fine lady out there on the street, the best I'd ever seen, and she was asking so little that I thought I'd just come in real quick, just get your poison out if you catch my meaning. <laughs> she better be good looking, the man of sh Shut your trap. You're on shit detail for a month. Yep. Oh, Captain. Not another word. Where did you send O'Sullivan for the supplies? It's Polkinghorne's shop. It, you know, the big building near the market. He should be standing right outside. Sober up, Bodell, you lousy drunk. Good day, sir. Yep. Hey, move it. Move it. Oh. I'm not letting him get away with that. Are you poking horn? Hello, sir. Yes, I'm Edmund Poking. Oh! What? You stupid shit. You try and swindle my men. You try and swindle me? Yeah. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know what you mean, sir. Does this bill of sale ring a bell? It says I owe twice the regular price for my supplies. Ah, now, sir, this bill of exchange is completely legal, so I'd appreciate it if you'd not hit me again. My man here may take offense. There's no poem. Legal? I'm sure as hell not paying this much. Be reasonable. Well, I'd hate to have an unsatisfied customer. Let's just call it 500 reals and be done with it. Are you crazy? I want to shoot you in the belly. You know what? All right, here you go, you crook. All right, here you go, you crook. Thank you for your cooperation. I could take his men and everything, but he does have a right. What's this? Do you have anything to spare? I don't want to get an argument with the merchant. That's the last thing I need to do. Because if I get an argument with him, he'll probably not sell me any in the future. And then I'll be up. I'll be really with no equipment. Did you take care of the malcontent Ugh. we discussed earlier? Yep. He won't be causing you problems anymore. I'm curious though. Why did you cut his whole leg off when his toe was the problem? Oh, don't concern yourself over a simple limb. There are many secrets to my art. Uh, I'm afraid you wouldn't understand. Okay. It would be a great pleasure to join your crew now, Captain. Sure. All right, you're hired. 
We'll put one second outside. All right, you're hired. Report yep. to the ship. Someone will show you a cabin you can use. And hey, don't cut anyone's leg off. No Excellent. Positive. And of course not, sir. Only if the leg needs the chopping. <laughs> you hired an officer? Nice. Let's see if food doctors in the cabin can be a boost as bonus as long as a colorful medical history. Okay, Sidfuck actually made okay, incredible okay. Shy of making mess in history, who suffers from one problem. He loves amputating a little too much. <laughs> okay, this is why he finishes on the ship. Oh, this is... Okay, so you're gonna cut up my man. Well, that's love. That's lovely. Respect the ship is a little less. That's him, um, of course. Make <laughs> uh, some useful during combat. He can improve the chances of crew survival and attack. Okay. Yeah, well, having a mad doctor may be not the best idea for now. But you know what? He does the job. Okay, time to leave. Why are they here for rations? Was your mother blind too? Now we'll try to get out of this place. Okay, Belly, calm down. My belly doesn't like me right now. Watch it now. Uh, let's see if we can get to the other side and get out of here. I think I have enough rations to get out of here. Wait, what's this place actually good at? Oh, see, that's T. Hey, that's T. And then I can get down here and sell some tea. How much money do I have? Let's see if we can buy some tea here and sell down there to get some profit. If I have any money left. Shall we? Got some money left, nice. Let's get out of here. Be unhappy. Uh, right. I think I'm going to sell this off and then head off. Get some food. You gotta go some money. Let's see, spices and coffee. Clear you got any spices and coffee? Alright, but you got this. I can buy one. Okay, that's 
cancel that. Clearly, sir. Hard. Mag Sell that off to something else. Okay, uh, I think that would do it now. Just save it here. I'm probably just gonna uh, go around getting money and everything off camera. But for now, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.